Hello guys, welcome to part 2 of Let's Play EVO Search for Eden. Yes, I did a fair bit of evolution point grinding off footage. Because, you know, the game can run really long, and I didn't want it to run too long. That's why I picked up all those points to make evolving just a little bit faster. You'll thank me later, trust me on this one. Well, but I'm not going to evolve everything at once. I'll just pick up some smaller forms just to show you what they're like. You know, just for you guys to decide what one you like best. I consider it more of a showcase, if you ask me. There, now let's go over here. The Ocean of Terodus. Hey, don't run away from me. Right in your ass. Oops. Maybe I can go a little bit faster. Let me get a Caressalash's tail. I'm pretty sure that horn's gonna break someday. Unfortunately, I have to stick around here for a good while killing monsters. I mean, killing these fish. For a couple minutes at least, and then I can cross because the volcano is going to erupt. Hey, wait a minute! Just going to keep getting some experience, and then we can move on. Look at the tackle fin. Personally, I can actually increase my body size too, but not only will it give me more HP and more defense, it'll also make me slower. So I'm going to stick with my small form for now. Sometimes bigger ain't always better. Uh, let's evolve something else. Let's get a Caressalash, just dorsal fin. Oh yeah. Uh-oh. Better escape. Otherwise, we're gonna get rocks up the up the underbelly. Let's go. There we go. Freedom. Okay, and what's this? The cave of Zinictis. or whatever they're called. They're very aggressive fish. They're very strong too. They also look like the dildos of the sea. I mean, look at their shape. Uh huh. Stupid trilobite. No wonder you're extinct. Ah, 500 extra experience points. I already got the maximum tip, maximum dorsal fin, feet. Oh, I get a shell body. Yeah, now I look a bit stronger. Take more of a beating. Okay, let's get to the end of this here dungeon. Well, it's more of a cave than a dungeon. There's no real dungeons in this game. Just more like natural environments. I mean, it's a very simple game. Very interesting, too. See? You gotta love that collision damage in this game. Oh no, another volcano! It's a volcano! Oh my god! There. Done with this cave. And now let's go over to this area. Domain of Sepolis. These look like very aggressive fish. They travel in groups, apparently. They must really get along together. 
and fight you with their heads. Wow, I'm dealing with some Chris Benoit's here. Rest in peace, man. Even though you did a horrible act, I don't think any jury would convict you if they knew what was going on in your mind. I mean, all those injuries you took from wrestling... Man, it, it would just rack up anybody's mind. Okay, let's, let's not talk about that personal matter now. Let's do the Cave of Origin. Right, we did the Ocean of Origin, this one's the Cave. There, let's go. Point of no return now. Now... I'm just a horny fish, aren't I? The seaweed whispered to one another. Friends, the Strolites are trying to create a new world using oxygen. They're having trouble because the carousalash just keep interfering with them. Oh, uh -huh, really? This ground to put a stop to that. That's what the carousalashes are, they're sharks. Plain and simple. You gotta be careful with them because they are quite tough. But hey, we need to evolve, right? And the Caracalash won't let us. You know what that means? That's right, we gotta take him out. We feel like terrorists, don't we? If we could move along the bottom of the sea without sticking, we would not have to be ruled by the Kresselash. Shh, speak quietly, the leader in the cave will hear you. That's right, when people don't listen to our beliefs, we gotta take him out. It's just like terrorism, isn't it? There he is. Huh? Who are you? Knowing this is the domain of the Karasalash, King of the Sea, why are you here? Are you not trying to help the Strollites build a new world? The sea is the only world! I'll defeat anybody who helps the Strollites. Okay, this is why I picked the smaller body. I can actually move around this guy a lot faster. And since Kar the Karasalash leader is fast, you need all the speed you get. Now, that tail is so evil. Yeah, I had like a horn to the ass. I think I'll use that. Ow! Oh, what can I evolve? I think I'll get the angler's horn instead. Sure, it won't do any damage, but at least it'll give me full health. And I can actually use the light against him. I can still bite, that's good. It's like, Doro, Doro, you know? Woo, hey, hey. Apparently this boss doesn't have good vision. I mean, anywhere I shine a light, he's going for it. I can play that to my advantage. Hey, over here! Over here! Eh. Hey, hey. Even for this far away, he still fell for it. There we go. Boss defeated. Don't you know why I'm getting all those evolution points? Because, well, this is pretty much over. That means I gotta reset all my evolution points. But I'm all red. I might as well make myself a little bit bigger. 
and record this. I'm gonna call you. Oh wait, I used all, all big letters last time. I gotta use them here this too. Rape fish, because I literally raped that boss. There. Okay, but since I'm pretty much done, let's stop the video right here. Stay tuned for the next part when I finish chapter one and start chapter two. See ya.